Hello everyone, I am Ibrahim Shigram from Cobius Lab at Sherbrooke University in Quebec. This work is in collaboration with Nabil Benjaa and supervised by Aida Wangrawa. I will present our work, which is non-coding RNA classification using only linear sequences common motif, contrary to other methods that use secondary structure. Our work mainly focuses on two points. First, extract and compute the most relevant feature by applying and experimenting several filtering parameters. Second, scale the classification to a big number of family with a good classification quality in reasonable time. The first step of the classification is the training part where for each family we compute and learn their specific feature. The second step is the prediction where we predict the right class for new arrivals. The non-coding RNA classification is a very important task because it can be used in genome annotation, disease understanding like breast cancer. Also, it can be used in RNA-based therapeutic. This is the workflow of our method with four steps. At first, we have a group of non-coding RNA family represented only by their linear sequences. We use them to extract the most representative feature for each family. And after that, we experiment and choose the best classifier from the literature to construct our model. At the end, with new arrivals, we made the prediction. In the step of feature computation, we use a generalized suffix tree to extract all possible common motif between all sequences. A common motif is a substring that exists in two or more sequences. Example, ICGU exists in sequence 1, 2, 3, and 4. Among the main objective of our work is to be able to scale the classification to a big number of family. For instance, all our farm database in a reasonable time. For that, we experiment different filtering parameters to keep only the most representative feature. The filter parameters are filtering out submotif under the condition that motif and its submotif must exist exactly in the same sequences and have the same number of occurrence. Second, if the motif length is between min L and max L, then we accept the motif, otherwise we delete it. Third, the representative power of the motif, which is defined as follows. In how many sequences of the family the motif exists? If we set the threshold, for example, at 10%, this means that the motif must exist at least in 10% of the sequence of the family. Fourth, Another threshold is the variance of the number of occurrence of motif between sequences. If the threshold is zero, for example, the number of, of occurrence must be the same in all sequences, or at least for the sequences that is chosen according to the previous parameter. For example, if the variance is one, that means we tolerate uh, one difference between the number of occurrence. The last filtering parameter is the number of occurrence, which can be one or more. At the end, we get a 2D vector of feature and their number of occurrence according to their sequences. To choose the best supervised learning classification algorithm that are appropriate to our problem, we experiment the seven following algorithm. This is in tree, random forest, extra tree, support vector machine, canners, neighborhood, Gaussian naive base, multi-layer PC pro. Based on the processing time and the quality of the classification, we choose this is on tree, extra tree, and multi-layer PC pro. A voting model based on the selected algorithm is also added to the comparison. 
To evaluate our model, we use two datasets based on our, on our FAM database. And we compare against Infernal tool based on covariance model and HMM with its three variant, Blast N based on the best heat, and the deep non-coding RNA tool based on camera represented by one male, two male, and three male in this experiment. In the first data set, based only on the seed of sequences, the results show that our method get very competitive classification accuracy. For the voting model, for example, it starts from 0.99% to 0.98%, but with a big difference in construction time uh, comparing to Infernal, where our model is take only a few minutes and it take approximately 11 days for Infernal to construct its model. In the second data set, we test the capability of classification in the presence of noise. Each time we add 25% of noise on both end of sequences, the results show that our method with MLP and voting model is uh, the best comparing to all other uh, me methods. In the left figure, we show only the test time. If you have any question, please send me an email. Thank you.